Well, it's time to play one more game before I crate this up, ship it off. And I'll end this restoration by turning the play meter back to zero. So when the customer gets it, he's going to put the very first play on it after the restoration. There's five. Now let me eject them back out. Start it over again. Three thousand thirty one hundred points I got so far. Oh come on, get that puck. Hey, now up to thirty five hundred points. Four thousand forty six hundred could be enough for a free game. And there you have it. Red lights on, that's a free game. With the game ready to give you a free play, once this is fully set up, you should just be able to press the start button if that red light is still on when you get it. And uh can play the game or you know put a dime in but you should still have that free play there when you get it and set up now what I'm going to do since it obviously is set up right now as I take this apart and create it I'll be shooting video and you need to watch everything I'm doing and follow these steps in reverse order to put the machine back in play again and so let's start within here. I've taken this fluorescent tube and I've taped it to the fixture so that it won't fall out during shipping. So one of the last things you'll have to do right before you play it is you're going to take the tape off of there. During the restoration video I showed you a part where I replaced these switches and they're, they're still good switches, but uh, since I replaced them all with brand new ones, you know, I'm giving you the old ones just in case you know you want original parts to have exactly what came with the machine as original. Putting that in the coin box. Here's a spare motor. Since I did have to uh, buy new custom motors, I have these if you ever need more, and I put one of my cards in there just so you have it. And then these are the five pucks individually wrapped they'll be in the coin box also so you'll find all of that inside when you open the coin box the car has been bubble wrapped and then strings have been wrapped around the bumper both front and rear and these strings go off to screws there's four of them so what you want to do is raise these screws and then cut the string off screw them back down in tight and carefully unwrap the car I put tape around this cable just in case it bangs during transit and then I put blue painters tape across the glass it is glass so just in case it were to get really hit hard and break during transport hopefully that'll 
help keep some of it together. There's a layer of shrink wrap around mostly to protect the lid and keep that on because it's just got the two little hooks right down there. So that should keep it all tight and together. And then I have it sitting on some styrofoam. You remember from the restoration video how broken up a lot of this was. I've done my best to glue it and to fill it, but these edges are still fragile. And so when you get to this point of taking the crate apart and you're ready to lift this up, I would have four guys, a guy on each corner, uh, get your hand under their goods so you're really supporting the bottom of the cabinet and not just on the very edge and then have everybody lift up and then put it on some type of table or get it ready to put the legs on. If you grab it right by the very edges and pull it all, there's a chance you could just rip that off. So please be careful at this stage uh, getting it up off of this crate base. And the keys are right under this tape. Two side panels and the back went on next and so these are screwed down one two three screws on both sides and then there's a row of screws going up on each side and screwed down across the back. And there are foam panels on all four sides and here on the back there's foam down in there. This foam panel in front has cutouts for the steering wheel and throttle so there's no pressure on those and this foam will have one more layer that will go up against this front edge of the front panel so that it's the case that's holding it in not putting any pressure on anything sticking out. The front is now on, screwed into the sides, and then screwed down along the bottom. Foam panel on top to protect the top of the case before I put the lid on. The lid is on next, and it is screwed down on each side all the way along. And then on the front and rear, it's screwed on here across. So you got to take some screws out on this side and along there. Take screws out the back. This is the finished crate ready to go. I have put these signs on all four sides. And then the last thing I did was build these sides or, or screw the sides on so you've got a chamber in here. And in this chamber, staple down this box isn't going to go any place. Uh, I've got all the original paints, so you could pretty much repaint the whole cabinet if you needed to. What I used on the truck body and the rocket pucks, uh, your legs, leg bolts are going to be in here. I'm going to put padding in there. You're going to have all colors except for this. I'm going to keep this, but if you ever needed to touch it up, it's aluminum, rust-oleum, oil-based. So that's what you're looking for. And then your schematic is going to be in the box. Now this is a Motorama schematic. I could not find a space age. It is about 50% identical. So this will be a very good uh, reference. And what I did with the motors, the, the motor colors are there. What I did with adding the extra resistors, all in the restoration video. I have marked this up. So you know how the game's been modified. Uh, that will be in here. And then over here, your legs have been wrapped and attached, so they're not going anyplace. But obviously, you know, you're gonna follow this video in reverse. So the first thing you're gonna do is take these off, take the side panels off, and then take the lid off and start disassembling the sides. For more information, visit GameRoomRepair.com.